Greetings from California. <laughs> Greetings. who is battling breast cancer. Yeah. And um, so there was this charity auction going on for her, and um, they were holding it at Center Stage Gallery. Um, they had so many cool things there. I know. Oh, my God. Yes. I, I can't believe more people were there. Like, it was crazy. Like, I, I thought it was going to be something really small, and I didn't realize it was going to be something really freaking huge. Yeah, there was stuff... Everywhere there was like James and the Giant Peach stuff. Yeah, like um, there was uh, all these original cells like from Disney animations, was, like Sword in the Stone. Oh, I bid on it, but I got outbid. I know. <sighs> and, um, there was like art donated by the animation community. Um, we'll show that later. Um, but yeah, so when we got there, um, we kind of looked around and then we um decided to draw some people. And they kind of looked important. We were like, these people look important. But Lindsay, yeah. who knows anybody and everybody, like, I don't know how yeah. she knows everybody. But it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily she was there to be like, holy jeez. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, um, so, so we, we, I had met quite a few people and, um, it was pretty freaking exciting. Like, the first, well, the, let's say, it, it started out great because the first person I met was one of my all-time <laughs> favorite animators, Brenda Chapman. <laughs> and um, basically, I didn't know she was going to be there. I didn't even know, I like, I heard, like, I guess she was putting it on, but I didn't know she was actually going to be, like... Yeah, she was in charge of the whole thing. Like, I didn't know she was actually going to be there because this was, like, a walk-in event. I didn't I didn't think she'd be there. And it's just, like, <laughs> I see, I, and then what I was, um... I was looking at some of the auction things, and her name was written down on some of them. And they're like, you guys, and I'm Brenda like, freaking Chapman dropped this off, is she here? And, and like, I was like, yeah, and I, went, I, I went to go ask the, um, I went to go ask one of the people in charge of the auction, like, hey, is Brenda Chapman here? And they're like, and they're looking around, and they're just like, oh yeah, there she is over there in blue skirt, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I felt like I was walking on hallowed ground, and I kind of just walked over, like, um, excuse me, are you Brenda Chapman? And she's like, yes I am, I'm like, um, I can hear you from across the room like, oh my god! <laughs> to be fair, it was a very acoustic, well, it was a room with very good acoustics. Um, <laughs> but um, I was just like, oh my god, Brenda Chapman, I am a big fan of your work. So um, nice. <laughs> but um, I was just super excited to meet her. Um, she was very gracious, very wonderful. Um, she looked at my sketchbook and she liked it, um, but, so, it was, and I got her picture, it was very, very nice, it was a very nice experience. So who else did we meet? Well, then after that, not long after that, we met Rick Farmelo, who <laughs> worked on Aladdin and The Little Mermaid, um, he animated Scuttle, which was pretty cool, um, the Sea the Seagull and The Little Mermaid, and he animated Abu in Aladdin. So, um, and he was hilarious. Oh, he was wonderful. He was great. Um, he was wearing this guitar shirt, and, um, I didn't even know who he was until, like, he introduced himself, and... and but he looked so important! Yeah, right? he looked so he? important. He looked like, very important. Just, like, this guy. Yeah, I was just so like, funny. And I didn't know his name at first, and I was just like, oh, wait a minute, yeah. But, and then, he was just the nicest guy. Um, he, he gave me a drawing of Scuttle. Like, he, he drew Scuttle in my sketchbook, and... Not only that, though, he was like, hey, let me draw you a drawing. You're like, okay, yeah, but not in this page. I've got to find something. Yeah, I had to... Uh, <laughs> I, I was just like... <laughs> just like, Lindsay, just let him draw in your sketchbook. You're like, no, 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 no
No, it has to be the it's most just, perfect I was, I, was, I was in the middle of a drawing. I didn't, I, <laughs> and also, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to get in trouble <laughs> with Robert or Linda if I had. That's true. Yeah, so. Like fan art or whatever. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, really. But I, so, I just, like, yeah, he drew in my, one of my, um, my other sketchbook, and, um, I was drawing alongside him, and Aaron got a nice picture of it. Um, it was really, really cool. cute. That was really cool. But was, then, who did you meet? Oh God, this is the best. <laughs> this was the best part of the day. So, um, a little while after I met Rick, um, I was just sitting and drawing, and I look over, and there's this guy, um, Korean. He's sort of he's wearing basketball shorts. He's just sort of walking around, looking at the art. I'm just like, he looks so familiar. I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> that is Shiyun Kim. And if just for anyone who doesn't know, Shiyun Kim is a character designer at Disney who did the main character designs on Big Hero 6 as well as the end credits of the movie. So he has this very unique style. It's very inspirational but to my own style. like in love with this stuff. Yeah, I'm in love with this stuff. And, <laughs> it was so uh, I had no idea. I, I never dreamed I would actually <laughs> be in the same room as him. So I just like, I go up Not and I drop, I put my stuff, I shove my stuff in my bag, quickly, I think I quickly told somebody to watch my stuff. And I'm pretty I, sure you flew over there. Yeah, I flew over there. You didn't even touch the ground. I like, I don't, I, I'm just, I introduced myself, he introduced himself, and you're like, I need to get a picture of you. He's like, oh, I just left my house, like, on a basketball shorts. And but I was like, I didn't care. I wanted a picture with this guy. <laughs> so, we got a picture. He was the nicest dude. So... Nice and modest and oh my god yeah he was like oh it's just like I I I think it kind of goes into the it kind of goes with the thought that animators are very quiet he's a very he was a very soft spoken dude he yeah. was very nice though he's shy um but I think I got one of the best compliments I ever could have gotten that day because um he I was I had my sketchbook in my hand because I was like still in the middle of the drawing and I was just like I decided to start drawing him and he's looking over and he's just like hey that looks like me and I was like yeah. <laughs> and, um, so then, you. and then I decided, I was like, do you want to see the rest of my stuff? He's like, yeah. So I did a kind of a quick little flip through my sketchbook, and I was trying not to die of excitement. So, and, um, yeah, I was trying not to die. And he, um, he said to me, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to screw this up. What did, you, what did he say? No, I remember he was just like, wow, I wish I was this good when I was Yeah, was, that was basically, it was just like, he said, he, he, I think it was like, he said that my stuff was better than what he did when he first made the cow arts. And, and I didn't think he just died. Yeah, right? I was, died right there. Um, all the time when he died. <laughs> yeah. And after that, I was a ghost. I was kind of disassociated in the good way, in that I couldn't really believe this was happening. I was meeting one of my favorite animators of all time, and... Look, and he had complimented my work so strongly, so um, I kind of it, I I kind of was wondering why I wasn't crying out of excitement. <laughs> so doesn't that kind of like freak you out? You're like I should be crying right now. Yeah. Why am I not crying? Crying yeah. face. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I was feeling. But anyways, then Robert yeah. got there, which was really cool because yeah. um, he was friends with everybody. He knew yeah. everybody, and he could just introduce us. Yeah, and it's there. just like. It seems everybody loves Robert. But, um, yeah, he's like, you see that guy over there? Like, yeah, what's important? He was, he was like, well, he directed a movie. You might have heard about it. The Lion, Lion King. King. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, Roger Allers. <laughs> that was and, crazy. Um, it was insane. This dude, he kind of even looked like a lion. <laughs> he looked just like a lion. Like, oh, my gosh. He had his beard and his long hair, and it's just, he was so cool. Um, he kind of looked like a Santa Claus lion. <laughs> And then um, Brenda Chapman, her daughter was there, and like, she was like, you know, Brave, this is who it's inspired by, my daughter. And she was just like an angel and beautiful and, yeah, she was lovely. Gosh. Um, and then and her husband, Kevin Lima, who directed Enchanted, I think, I might be wrong, I, you know, when I introduced myself, I said, <laughs> I love The Emperor's New Groove. Because for some reason, I think, I thought he was a director on the movie, but I, I was, I guess I was wrong, and now I feel like a complete moron. Um, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, he was really cool though. I didn't actually know he was married to Brenda Chapman. Me either. And I think that's pretty freaking cool. Um, so let's, uh, we, we had an auction pick. Yeah. And, um, we got outbid on a couple things. Um, but Lindsay decided to outbid Brenda Chapman. Who does yes. that? Lindsay, of course. And let's see what you outbid her. 
I this lovely <laughs> print. Not print, it's actually an original drawing it's by... It's original um, drawing. Who's his name? Ivan Camilli, um, Cal Arts grad and animator, um, of this lovely drawing called Goddess. And I... She was seriously over there, like, guarding it, like... Yeah, because no I... I am really big on these shapey drawings and stuff like that, and just, like, these sort of eyes, just this, this graphic and stuff. I just love this sort of stuff with all this design. And let's see what else you got. Yeah, so, um... Jesus, you got so much! I, well, I only won, like, technically three bids. Like, I only bid, I bid on, like, four... Well, technically five, I crossed out one, and then I got outbid on another, so... Basically, three out of four, not too bad. Um, but, or, I guess, three out of five, I don't know. But, um, I got this. It's a Fairly Odd Parents, um, picture. Hey man, that one. Uh, yeah. And with all the autographs of the Butch Hartman. Yes, the creator of the show, Butch Hartman, and all the voice actors. So, um, and nobody else bid on this except for me, so. Uh -huh. Yay! Yeah. What else? And then, oh god, this, there's a horrible story behind this one, um. <laughs> I feel really horrible about it now. That, um, she didn't even notice she was being terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so they um this is a two a two piece a two piece um a two piece item of the it's a picture of the March of Selma and this is the and it's autographed lyrics by John Legend and I don't know who else, I think it's the songwriter of um the song Gloria that is played at the end of the movie Selma, which is one of which is probably one of the most powerful pieces of cinema I've ever seen. Um, and the story behind that was that I bid on it first, and nobody was going after it for a while, and then in the last 15 minutes of the auction, somebody bid on it, um, and it was this old lady, and I was just like, oh, no, you didn't. She's like, oh, yes, I did. I was like, oh, no, you didn't. So I took, I took my pencil, and she's just like, you can't write, you can't write. I'm just like, I'm writing, I'm writing. Um, we had a good laugh. Um, and then after the auction was over, I won this piece. Um, um, and I, I went over. I have, I have my stuff in my hands, and I wanted to talk to her because she seemed like a really, <laughs> just like a really excitable lady. And then um, she was like, "How did the bidding go?" She's like, "Well, you won the piece I wanted." Yeah. And Lizzie's just holding it like, I didn't, I didn't, oh. really, I didn't. Really, <laughs> I sounded like a complete bitch, and I felt horrible about that. She was so nice that like she was just like, "Well, we." We, it was like, we got four out of five, it's not too bad. It was like, I got three out of four, that's not too bad either. So it's like, okay. We were both chill about it. So. Let's see. I still feel bad about it, but it was still <laughs> fine. So that's it, all yours, right? Yep. So, then I got to bid on something. So we had like five minutes left, and like, my sword and stone one got outbid. So I was like, alright, what do I want? And then I saw this Jafar drawing that was like, I didn't even see this. It was like on a different, it was like around this pillar. I don't know. It was like hidden. But I love Aladdin, so I want this one! Oh my god, I hope you guys can see it, but it's an original drawing. Look at that, look at it. It's really cool. Just like, so. Anyway. What was your plan? To, where are we yeah. gonna put it? I'm gonna put it in the bathroom so we can watch you take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like he's like, ugh, that smells terrible. So. Best day ever, pretty much. Yeah. Alright, but it didn't end there. No, of course not. Because today was magical. So then, yeah. Robert's like, hey, so are you guys going back? Or like, what are we doing? He's like, no, we're five minutes away from the Disney studio. And we're like, oh my god. <laughs> what? So he's like, yeah, I can show you around if you want. We can't go inside. We can walk around. And we're like, hell yeah. yeah. So we went there and he showed us all around. It was amazing. I climbed yeah. a tree and cut off yeah. my arms. And yeah, and you got a flash dust. <laughs> they saw my ass. Um, <laughs> very lovely, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. It's pretty much non-existent. But um, <laughs> that's why you don't wear skirts when you're trying to climb trees. Um, Keep this in mind. <laughs> but after that, we um we went grocery shopping with Robert because we still wanted to hang out with him. He was like, well, why don't we just go to my house and I'll cook you guys some late, you know, lunch. And we were like, okay. okay. We could be serial killers and know where you live now, but... Oh, gosh. And, um, 
So it's just like we went grocery shopping with Robert Lentz. We're just, just like, we're just like the whole time we're like we're grocery shopping with Robert freaking Lentz. So it's like I have, so start, in this day I have two things, two <laughs> connections I in this industry. One, grocery shopping with Robert Lentz, and two, I outbid Brenda Chapman. <laughs> you monster. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after that, it's oh no, what's it doing? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, after that, we went to Robert's house, and he made us delicious guacamole. Oh my, I it was, yeah, I do not She doesn't like, even like guacamole, but she loved it. Yeah, I was like, I was just like, guac me! <laughs> and then, um, yeah, then he made us tacos, and the taco mm. shells were made by, um, my Mike Cotrello. Cotrello's wife. Yeah. Up so, in Portland, Oregon, where I live. Um, yes, they were delicious. They were so good. Um. Dance break. <laughs> Intermission. All right. No. So okay, we gotta hurry up because it's been almost 16 minutes. All right. So after that, we had tacos. We met his amazing, beautiful cat. Um, it was pretty much. This house is magical. We saw like parrots fly over. Yeah, green I, parrots. that's the first time I've seen wild parrots in my life. Wild parrots. I. You didn't even know those were the thing. <laughs> <laughs> there were hummingbirds flying around. His house was magical. Robert is yeah. magical. It's like it's like he's straight out of Disney. He is the nicest person that you've ever met. So yeah. It's like, if you're watching the dad, dad. Which I don't know why you would waste your time watching us make a video. But if you are, we love you! And you're yeah. right! <laughs> Alright, after that, we went out to eat with Maggie Horton. And yes. uh, she, Lovely she goes to school here. Yeah. And um, she gave us some great advice about her sketchbooks. Yeah, I'm going to see how much I remember in the morning because I'm dead. Yeah. I think Alex wrote down a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. I just remember, but man, she is so awesome. She's awesome. And um, yeah, then we had uh, secret adventures that we can't tell you about. Yeah. But they were secret and amazing. So, yeah. I think and legal. legal. <laughs> and legal. They're legal, don't worry. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Yeah. Is there anything else we can show them? You can tell them about my door. I feel like, I feel like you I'm can tell them about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell them about how I was very delirious in the last 30 yeah, minutes. I don't ago. know how she pulled herself together. Because <laughs> yeah. a couple minutes ago she was kind of. I don't know. She's very sleep deprived. So, Lindsay, you need to get some sleep. I do. Alright, well, good night from California. Good Bye, night guys.